He is music. He is jazz. He is education. His whole being are, are those things combined. And he understands what it takes to get the students to this extraordinarily high level. What I try to do is find out what's already in the student and uh, convince them that what they have is part of tradition as music as well. And I try to get them to connect with the culture of the music, even all the way back to the African tradition of understanding how the music is related to dance, how the music is related to uh, listening, uh, vocalization. And so we do a lot of those things that are not usually common to uh, instrumental rehearsals. With him being one of the foremost uh, authorities on jazz education in the world, uh, that helps elevate our reputation. Quite often we get some of the very finest students in the country coming here from far outside Illinois and even on an international basis. But he'll say, you know, well this is what uh, Miles Davis did, this is what John Coltrane did, and this is what you have to do if you want to do this authentically. Um, and he's not afraid to say that that's what you need to do. It's through showing them enthusiasm for the music. It's, it's about connecting them with the history of the music by bringing in people like Benny Golson and Jenny Heath and Diz Gillespie and all the different people who have come through this, and come through this program over the years. He allows us to bring, you know, to bring our personalities out in the music. He encourages us to sing, to listen, to listen to one another, to encourage one another, to really bring that family environment into the music. A lot of times you have bands that play the music, but we make an effort to actually try to become the music. I tell students, if you don't feel it, don't expect the audience to feel it. I think when I first started, I had students say, Professor Carter, how do we do? And I, and I, I tell them, if, if you don't see the audience out there getting their groove on, then you, you haven't done your job. He's, in my opinion, simply amazing. The time he puts in, the effort he puts in, the love that he has for education, and specifically jazz education, is simply astounding. He's inspired me to really go forward and really be a better educator, not just as a musician, but really helped me to get, be, become more passionate about teaching and you know just playing and just falling in love with the music even more as he does. There was a time when jazz musicians wanted, wanted to be almost like mystical, the music be mystical. And so they're saying, well, I'm smarter than you, that's why I can play this jazz, you can't do this. But I think my job, and I think I try to encourage my students to make it as simple as possible. But I think all different aspects of jazz is part of the American culture. I think it's become part of the American fiber. And so I think just connecting with that is just an idea of realizing what I think all education should be. It should be fun. It shouldn't be just an academic exercise.